No, Th he, that was Walter Sugars. No, he just had a boat my grandfather Th built. This is the boat? This new one here is a party boat. That, 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 that's the, the Nautilus. Right. Oh, that is the Nautilus. That's the Nautilus. Okay. Now, this boat he used to take to Florida in the wintertime and catch a grouper on it and then come back here and run uh, at parties in the summertime. But it was during Prohibition days when they were li taking liquor from Canada here. And they, the government said that if one of their men, you got to go to the dock because they, he must have had a bad year and he had a, probably got a boat with the liquor bringing it up from Florida. Right. So when he came to, and parked at the dock, the, the government man went over and talked to Countess, who was deckhand on the boat. He said, well, you got in that big cardboard box over there. He said, alligators. And he didn't believe him. He went over, shook the box, and 300 alligators come out of that box. I had little baby ones in there? Little baby ones and one big one that was for the zoo in Philadelphia. It's called Lizzie. That's amazing. Now, there's San Francisco. Yeah, fisherman's in San Francisco. Whose boat's in? That, that's the last boat. That's the one you've seen on the wall. That's, I made all that steel work. I made these here down at Carlson's Dock, the, the booms for it. They're on Carlson's Dock, fish market, Otten's Heart. Right. And they weigh 150 pounds a piece, and if one dives, well... Is that all one big giant piece solid, or you put that piece that's in That's a together? big pipe. It's a big pipe with, with uh, small angle irons like coming down to reinforce it, because when you're right. going up and down, you know, them things heavy, they'd bend if they didn't have reinforcement to it. Now that's... That's my son there, uh, painting the bottom of the boat like, like or right. putting a water line on it like. Who's and this? Here, here is that, uh, that's your boat. Yeah. Who's helping you out? Who's your little helper there? Well, that's that's a girl that works for the state of Maryland, environmentalist. We got paid a hundred dollars a day to take her out, and she marks down how many fish you catch and how many. Small ones you push overboard, and if you're pushing too many small over, then you got to put bigger holes in the bags to let them go, and that ruined the fishing for the fishermen because most of the fish are small. All right. So there's us dragging the dragon stripers, huh? Yeah. We made a drag down off a of winter quarter. That's the borderline of Virginia and Maryland. My son and I, and we uh, made a half hour tow. We had over 30,000 pounds of them in one drag. Huh. And then we made another drag up at the other side of Maryland up where the Delaware line is, where Fenwick Island is, and we had 30,000 pounds of Boston Mac. And you think the stripers are making a comeback, huh? There's more today than there ever was down, yeah, sure. And there's probably more flounders than there was, because there used to be 30 flounder boats I out caught, here I this caught time of year. I caught six at the back. I caught them on the back. Who drew this? Now, this, this there 